can take some time to get back. Injury expert shares update on Tottenham star ahead of the North London derby. Welcome back to Tottenham News Today channel. Before we dive into this update, be sure to press that subscribe button and keep up with all the latest news. While Dominic Solanke's injury was not deemed overly serious, manager Ange Postacoglu opted not to risk him against Newcastle. Unfortunately, the absence of a clinical striker was evident as Tottenham struggled to convert their numerous chances into goals. Tottenham's next match is the highly anticipated North London derby against Arsenal, and Postacoglu will be hoping that Solanke is fit to start. Injury expert Dr Rajpal Bra shared an update, suggesting that the striker is nearing a return. Speaking to Tottenham News, Dr Bra said, It sounds like he is quite close to returning from his ankle setback, and based on what Ange said, the medical team was being conservative with him to make sure he's ready to go for some big matches following the international break. Although he was injury-free last season, any player can pick up a knock regardless of injury history. Those contact injuries especially to the foot and ankle can take some time to get back from. I'd expect him to be back in contention on the other side of the international break. Tottenham have been plagued by injuries in recent seasons and it appears that this trend has continued under Postacoglu. Last season, over 20 players missed games due to injuries, derailing their campaign after a promising start. In addition to Solanke, Spurs have already seen Rodrigo Bentancur and Mickey van der Ven sidelined this season, with the latter also missing out the match against the Magpies. Spurs and Chelsea continue to be linked with a move for the Lecce defender, Patrick Dorg. According to Fabrizio Romano, the two London clubs were keen on signing the 19-year-old fullback during the summer window, but they did not proceed because of his asking price. The defender is valued in excess of £30 million. The Italian club believe that he is a phenomenal talent with a bright future and therefore they are demanding a premium for him. Romano feels that Tottenham and Chelsea are monitoring him and they could look to move for him in the future. It remains to be seen how the situation develops. Romano said, He was first of all in the list of Tottenham. One of the players Tottenham considered for the full-back position was Patrick Dorg. Really appreciated by the club but not a deal to make this summer. But for both Tottenham and Bluco, Chelsea Strasbourg Group, the deal was considered too expensive because Lecce asked more for than £30 million more than this to get the deal done. Lecce believe that Dorgu is a super talent, so Chelsea, Tottenham, several clubs follow him and monitoring him but is still considered too expensive. They want to make an investment on him, still not spending crazy money because the player still has to develop, but Lecce always say more than £30 million for the player this summer and he stayed at the club. But keep an eye on this player for the future, because I'm sure Tottenham and Chelsea will keep monitoring him. Both clubs have the financial muscle to get the deal done, and it remains to be seen whether they decide to act on their interest and submit an official proposal in 2025. The opportunity to join a Premier League club will be quite attractive for the young defender, and regular football at Tottenham or Chelsea could accelerate his development. The asking price might seem like a premium right now, but Dorgo is a prodigious talent and he could justify the investment in the near future. That's all for today's update. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay in the loop with all things Tottenham, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow Spurs supporters. Let's grow our Tottenham News Today community together. Thanks for watching and as always, come on you Spurs!